How was it, dude? How was the haircut? It was pretty good. Yeah. It was oh, it's pretty good. good. Shut up. Good. You look awesome. You can't flip your hair, though. All right. You guys working on some dark Eldar? Uh, yeah, they are. Some they venoms. Are. Yeah. That's good stuff. Wait a minute. This all looks familiar. Witches, two ravagers, four venoms, twelve reavers, one flyer. It looks familiar. Yeah. You don't say. It looks familiar. You don't say. Blue table fans, it's time for your studio update. I'm actually gonna take you around with me here and oh boy, that doesn't make any sense. Uh, I'm going to just I'm just gonna keep the camera with me uh, during the day. And so yes. Uh, okay, I'm here with Dave. Hello, hello. And uh, he just finished this drop zone commander project. Yes. And um, this is uh, level three of the basic box set that they uh, they make now. And so here's the scourge pieces. And this, I really like this color scheme. Wait, wasn't it pale blue before? Um, the it, little lighted areas? It, it was, but then we went back and we read it and he wanted dark purple. Oh, okay, I liked the blue. I did actually. too, we did, because that's the basic better. color scheme in the book. But then yeah. he said, no, I want specifically purple. And so. But this, this looks really good too. So Wargamer standard here. So you got the troops and you got these guys, which is pretty awesome. And uh, I just wanted to point out they have clear cockpit yeah. things. So... Dave actually painted the guy inside. Yeah. Not there. that you can see it very well. Right, you can't. You can't really it's tell. Such a small so yeah, this shape. is probably. Um, I don't know if I had to guess. I'd say about 750 points aside. That's pretty good. And uh, yeah, you can actually play a quite an entertaining game on a four x four board. The uh, box kit comes with all the buildings and everything that you need. Nice. And uh, yeah, so it's a really good deal, and we'd love to do some more, huh? We would. It's a fun yeah. little thing to paint. Hey, hey, again, blah. So I'm looking at this Dark Eldar project that's being turned in, yeah. Um, so check this out. So the problem with magnetizing vehicles is that you need a magnet here and a magnet here, right? But then to get the magnet to go onto like a piece of rod or whatever, you gotta put like green stuff around it and this this whole operation. No, a nail. A nail head just clipped down and then the magnet just sticks to it. Yep. Like that. That's it. Ah, and I bet you get nails of all sorts of different uh, sizes for the head of the nail. And so you could probably even do larger vehicles in this exact same format. Right. Well, it's brilliant. Well, if, if the larger vehicle doesn't, uh, is too weighty on top, you can just add a magnet that will sit flat to uh -huh. this with right. glue. And then, yeah, yeah and now it stays. Oh yeah, brilliant. Yeah, that Absolutely was that brilliant. was Rin. So by the way. we here at Blue Table Painting thought of this. Nobody else has ever thought of this before. <laughs> this is the first time anybody's ever done this. <laughs> Thanks. Here's Roberto yeah. making problems for me, wanting to use my computer. Yeah, the boss can't use his for... computer right now. I need, I need yeah. to make an army list for our 40k Escalation League. 1,500 points of Tyranids. Nice. Of course, it's going to have the Doom. <gasps> oh, yeah. Hey, my Grey Knights army that I refurbed, sold. Uh -huh. Oh, nice. So I'm out of the league now. Aww. Unless I paint up 1,500 points of something, like, overnight. Tammy, buy me some towel and paint them up. Sean, you know, just get So a, it's kind of after hours now. It's six o'clock. It's the late shift. What's that, Roberto? I was gonna say, you know, just get you know a few cans of Red Ball. You know, just go through the bits bin. I'm sure you could scrounge up something and make it happen. You think so? Yeah. <laughs> I'm horribly optimistic. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. I'll just go down to the bits room and do that. So, this is my lovely wife here. She is, she's doing, she's like customer service for the web store, making sure you get sorted out. Then there's these two guys doing their league game. Oh, had a staff meeting today, and I bought some mint Oreos. Oh, there's nothing to see there. So, yep. What's going on, guys? All your things have acute senses. All his uh, outflanking units have yeah. acute senses. He That's the three. worst one ever. I that should be like was, a reroll. I got the one I was going for. I was going yeah. for Principles of Deceit. Uh huh. And I got it. It's okay. The one, only one that's useful to my army, really. All right. Yeah. So if you go to a school 
and you got principles of deceit, watch out. Here's those Signar buildings shaping up. Awesome. Wow, I love it. I love this stuff. What the heck? What's going on? This is my uh, Slaughter Fiend or Mahler oh, Brute. Oh, this is yours personally. Yep, it's Here, for okay, the Give it a 360. Oh, that's awesome. Isn't it? Um, that is cool. That's cool sauce. Thank you. I say yes. So it works for both things. What but do you it mean? doesn't have any guns. Well, no. This it's is this is just fiend? going to be a this is just going to be a Mahler fiend. Oh, that's it. Okay. Yeah. So he's got the magma cutters here, and yeah. uh, then it's got like the armor plates and right. It's got no, a demon a forge conversion. over here. Yeah, it's a great conversion. Thank you. That's cool. I should give that its own segment, but oh well. Yeah. <laughs> so we got Tanya here. She's working on thing. some Warriors Slaughter. of Chaos. Yes. Yeah. Right. And almost done. Here. Right now, this one looks kind of normal, but yeah. wait till you see it when it's done. It'll make you want to puke. It'll be great. It'll make you want to puke? Is that the sign of a good miniature? Well, for the slime. That it makes you want to puke? That's more for Nurgle. Yeah. No, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be awesome. Gonna hey, and by the way, we hired a new painter today. Her name is Franny and she is an artist. Uh, yeah, probably. Do you want to? Yeah. Yeah. That's great. So yeah, we rarely hire people on the spot, but she was so fun and energetic and talented and just absolutely fantastic. So there you go. Yep. Don't get emotionally attached. That's what I've learned. <laughs> No, the truth is, I don't think I'll ever be able to lose the soul of a poet. Yeah. No matter how bad it hurts, I'll just keep coming back for more. For more. Ready to love again. Without Sean in our house. We'll be okay, great. Because Tanya's two daughters used to work for me too. Right, and we've I had known all you three for of them. Almost thirteen years now. You've what? Known me for thirteen oh, no, years? That's impossible. Two thousand five. Yeah. So how many eight years. years. Eight years. Okay, yeah. we've known you for a long time. Right. And uh, in fact, Shauna is the. Oh, was, I'll tell you a story about Shauna. Go okay. ahead. Shauna is my middle daughter, who used to be an assembler, and Angel is my oldest daughter, who used to be a painter. And uh, so we were sitting there talking about you since now I'm working here again. Right. And uh, the comment came up that you were Walt Disney. <gasps> Oh, and there was nice. a lot of comparisons with you to Walt Disney because he was also a visionary. Oh, that's so sweet. That's I'm going to cry. Okay, I'm going to tell the story about your daughter now. Here, oh, you take the camera. Oh, okay. Okay, so Shauna, when she worked for me, she was 19. Mm -hmm. And uh, she's um, at least semi good looking. So uh, I need some. <laughs> I'll tell her you said that. <laughs> Is that. Is that bad? Very attractive. No, okay. she's hot as crap. I went to, I went to so, high school with her. Yep. Hot as crap. Okay. Well, especially uh, Reddit now. This crap is hot. Okay, so anyway, it's been in the sun all day. <laughs> so anyway, all right, we're off to a bad start. <laughs> um, okay, so anyway, so I need to go pick up some office chairs, and there's Shauna as my person to help me. So I'm like, hey, come to Office Depot and help me pick up these office chairs. And as we're driving along, I'm like, because this was back in the age where you I was need to hurry concerned we're about battery propriety, here. right? <laughs> yes. So, um, she told me which this I'm story. not anymore. So, uh, so anyway, we're driving, and I'm like, oh man, what will people think of me and this, you know, young woman, this attractive young blonde woman? And uh, that's an important note, by the way, the hair color. And so anyway, so we get to Office Depot, and uh, I excuse myself to use the washroom, and I come back, and Sean is laughing. And I'm like, what's so funny? And she's like, well, they uh, came and asked me where my father went off to. <laughs> so the answer to the question is, what would people think if I were with an attractive young woman that is <laughs> that I, would be, I was her dad. And by the way, I was only like 36 at the time. So come on. <laughs> Yeah, well, you anyway, know. 36, 19, 17. it could be, it could happen. And I yeah. was gray, too, yeah. less than now. Have I gotten more gray, Tony? Yes, you have. I think I, mm -hmm. all right, well, enough about me. <laughs> you are losing. If so nobody, this is what um, Nate does all day. He just true, texts he on his check phone. Out Nate's jam. Yeah, check out Nate's jam. Okay, let's see it. <laughs> <laughs> 
right? It's, <laughs> there, hey, there's a story. We do this. get some work done. Okay, go ahead. A song go ahead. Come on, a song will come on and be like, this is my jam! I get all excited about it. So, no, Nate, that's your jam. <laughs> that's awesome. I'm so, I'm so happy we have this jam. It's awesome. That's my jam. He's pretty excited about it. Anyway. All right, sounds good. Whoosh. All right, so what's going on with you two? You can play game so, and then we have assembled this gigantic about a billion. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, okay. okay. Oh, oh, that's fantastic. So these are cool. Yeah, they really are. There's no uh, texturing on these? Not yet. We haven't done that last. These guys are cool. Uh, these guys make awesome, oh, like, I want to play cards, these guys. Though, right? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. But I mean, yes, those so. models are already awesome. You don't get alternates when the models are already yeah, fantastic. Do, like, cool stuff. Oh, like, but you could do it like a steampunk Necrons <laughs> army. There you go. What up? There you go. Oh my gosh, you're right. <laughs> that is fantastic. Run these like wraiths or something. Yeah, you could. Yeah, canoptic wraiths. Uh, tomb spiders. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah, definitely, yeah. These are cool. Boy, I want to do ultimate D and D. Oh, and they got these cool little mine things. We should probably show you this actually because it's uh, like a okay. new type of flying yeah. stand. Those things okay. are awesome. Oh, yeah, the new flying stand. Yeah, let's take a look. Look like Nike swoosh. Okay, and by the way, never mind how messy it is down here. Well, this uh, is what happens when you get.